brilliant. It's all very easy. That's a pretty good bit of pruning in this morning. Get round. I thought do that for me. That thing, like, he always comes on. That's the thing with oh, my yeah. dad's got a Range Rover Sport as well. And uh -huh. first thing you got to do when you start driving anyway is turn that off. It's so, off. Yeah, it's so annoying. Well, they do switch off the speed anyway. Yeah. Oh, do they? Oh, yeah. all right. That's that's the thing. We, oh, Christ. Yeah. But it's uh, it's a lot more, a lot less sort of boaty. I don't know. Mine feels like a magic carpet to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, it's good for the bumps, right? Yeah. The, but this the road feels it more for is you get a little bit distinctive body roll, don't you? You get a little bit of a lean. Yeah. The trees are much crisper on the road, but without being harsh. Just make sure work of this. Yeah, it needs something a bit more fierce. And the engine, I... with a three litre engine, it's now got stop start technology. Alright. So what's this two fifty if I remember right, it's two fifty five brake horsepower. 8.9 seconds 0 to 60. Crikey. And indeed, it'll give you 38 mpg. Oh, that's yeah, that's 38? Easy. Like, wow. Yeah, so if, you, if you get 28, there you go, so you're lucky, aren't you? Yeah, I, no, I get 20, like, yeah. where uh, I live. If it's... I go to Birmingham and not drive too bad, I can yeah. get about 29. If you're lucky. Yeah. Yeah. That's... Yeah. yeah, this is uh, well, it's effortless, really. Oh, it's terrible in the night where we live. We uh, I woke up wind. Make the most of your hour in bed. Uh, well, not really. I don't know. It's all too easy, isn't it? It is a bit easy. That was. I like that with the cameras there. Yeah, very. I mean, it is tighter, but yeah, to say the least. But yeah, I mean, they're not so good in the dark, but they're allowed to place the car so. So they're in the mirrors. They're in the wing mirrors. Yeah. yeah. Um, in the wing mirrors as well. If you look closely, you can see a little spot. Yeah. You look at, you can see two hashed out areas. Yeah. They're your blind spot monitors. So if the vehicle in your blind spot, they'll illuminate. All right. Also, um, that is closing gap monitors. So if you're on the motorway. Yeah, the vehicle bearing down too quickly, it'll illuminate. So it right. looks 70 metres behind, if I remember rightly. If you reverse out of a parking bay, the sensors will look for anything within three seconds of impact and alert you. And these ones double as weight sensors. So the sonar units in there as well, that will know how far it is down to ground level. Yeah. And therefore, they'll take the reflection off the water and give you on the screen. So that's it, cross axle. So the wheel yeah, spin. There we go, yeah. That one and this one. Just a tick of power. Yeah, and then she's away like, like way. So the sonar units will then give you a visual, visu visible, and audible display of how deep the water is. Not tell you how deep it is there, but how deep it is right now. Yeah. So the technology is moving. Oh such, yes. Such a pace. Um, far in front, like. If you look at, um, for instance, train response, the new Range Rover, the new Range Rover Sport's got train response too. Right. You leave it in its auto selection and it'll figure out what we call optimise oh, right. which programme to go into. It'll also figure out that over this rough ground, yep. it would say, I think you should go into low range, I think you should race the car up to off-road height. Yeah. It's that. It's that good, yeah. That's good. You still have to make the decisions. Yeah. Well, somebody told me, and I don't know if this is true, that the sand one, if you go in that one, it gives you more brake horsepower. Is that true? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it alters the actual output. Just the, the but, throttle sort of. But the actual the nature of that power is delivered. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It so it's much, true then, yeah. Much more aggressive. The gearbox, it like puts into sports mode, so it'll drop a gear, hold that gear longer. Yeah. As you accelerate and change that sooner, so you heat, hold the power on. But the power delivery. So it doesn't bog is, sort of thing on the sand. It's yeah, because you think about walking on the beach. Yeah, yeah. It's hard running on the beach. It's hard work, isn't it? So the sand program gives you that very aggressive car. I've learned something today anyway. That's good. And if you're going on a new one, you have what's called sand launch control. Because if you put your power down 
um, straight away. Yeah. You think down, won't you, to the yeah, 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 yeah. So the sun launch control gives you a very subtle delay that gets you moving before the power's delivered. I know, it goes off like a scolding cat. Yeah. I don't, to be fair, I don't think it does anything to the overall output. No, I might, no. You might be wrong. No, I, I don't know. Somebody told me that and I was I was dubious, but... But it's so, so much more aggressive. Yeah. Well, I've noticed, I've tried it on the road myself, put it in sand mode, and yeah. definitely does seem to be different. Absolutely. Oh, you can, you can use the sand mode. The thing yeah. is, is... In, it? You can think, laterally, if you're in... Um, so, for instance, if you... If you get public road and it's snowing... Yeah. Grass, gravel, snow is your answer, isn't it? Yeah. But if you end up in a snow drift, you need to get out of that snow drift, two legs yeah. of pussyfooting around, yeah, yeah. the raw power of sand get you out, like. might well, you don't guarantee it, might well no. get you out of it, yeah? So you can experiment and think laterally. I know, where, where we live we get this, well, usually we get the snow, we get sort of drifts about sort of five, six foot high, yeah, but um, yeah, it's a different kind of part of the world almost, it's not that far away, it's only about 35 miles, yeah. but if you keep going with one of these, if you keep the power down, yeah. Keep it in the middle of the road. You can yeah. you can go through some snow. Definitely. The, the, the downside is it's you got to stop it. Well, yeah. You know, you're going up a lane and you haven't got, you're moving at great pace. Yeah. But you then come around the corner and somebody's abandoned the car. You then take evasive action. And that's when you're sideways and that's when you have got a problem. Yeah, yeah. You can keep it moving. You're laughing. Yeah. You it's... can drive on stuff you can you can't stand on. No, no. But you got to stop it. And it's a big heavy car, isn't it? That's the thing. Yeah. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it on a road you didn't know. Yeah, like. Yeah, well, 2.75 tons there or thereabouts, yeah. plus whatever you got in it. I know the brakes on mine are not quite good enough. You can definitely tell there's got some weight. They get hot. Yeah, well, I mean, so, they're, they're quite hard on brakes. They're quite hard yeah. on, on tyres because they're big, heavy cars. They get, <laughs> get through some pads. Oh, that, yeah. Seriously. But that's probably the trailer to, as well. Yeah, probably not to the level we can. No, no. I mean, we, we can go through brake pads. You can get a brand new car. Got less than 500 miles on the clock, and it's the sand up, up the road. Yeah, it gets in the brakes. Like, yeah. Yeah. So we can get through, you know, 250 miles on the first set of pads. It's quite scary. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Here we go again. On the old screen this time. Yeah, it's subtly, that's again, brilliant. Line, isn't it? Did you say this is 60,000? It's nudging 60,000, yeah. HSC luxury. Oh, it's a luxury one. Yeah. Right? Beautiful car, though. It's it, a car that does everything, isn't it? Has it got the fridge in the uh, oh, centre console? This one console? hasn't got, one no. hasn't got the fridge. <laughs> I've got the fridge in my um, got an active rear differential. Oh, that's posh. So, if, I mean, if you're going to do a lot of heavy-duty towing, yeah. a lot of you know, rural driving, maybe shooting, such like, that'll pay dividends. Yeah. So that's something I'd spec in. Hasn't got a fridge, though. No. Adaptive lights. Has it got this? Yeah, it's got... No, yeah. it hasn't got anything in the back, either. That's an option now, isn't it? The rear the, climate. Yeah, back. the rear climate. That's, yeah, that's that really good. Yeah, that came in a couple of years ago. Um, I think it was when they brought out Discovery Four. You could either have the rear active differential or the rear climate pack. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was the choice. Where uh, you have right. yeah, both. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I, I'm not sure if it was down to the processing capability of the computers, <laughs> or maybe down to the, the, the weight of the car, I think it might have been the latter. Yeah. Because it's, the car's got bigger and bigger and bigger. It's very rough, isn't it? <laughs> so, it's doing well, though. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it all you, all you don't really think, if you went over that and, you know, no. something else, you'd, Good God, no, you'd, no, you'd be terrible. And if you went over those in the Defender, you'd be shook to bits. Yeah. yeah. With him, oh, the good old yeah, things, though. Them. We got one of them. Yeah. One. <laughs> Everyone should have one. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, a, it's a special okay. vehicle. Like Everyone should experience one. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Not actually have one. Well, no, not all these town people, Take, I yeah. guess. Like. Go oh, there we go. Oh. Checks around. So you're reversing graphics. Yeah, and that's where your that's where the aim is yeah. of the, of the okay. vehicle sort of that's thing. The wheels, yeah. That's the width. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, it shows where it is. Yeah. Where you're going to go. If you're hitched up, okay. Yeah. You get two sets of reversing graphics. All right. One that's going to give you the path of the trailer, one the path of the car. Really? And when you're hitched up, yeah. you change those reversing graphics to a single yellow line. So it's the middle sort of thing of yeah, the boat, so, which would be the way it's sort of arcing round. It zooms down to your tow ball, so you can hitch up unneeded. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. So um, that's where the sixty thousand. Well, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Would one of these be just an ordinary one?